I'm going to create a badge like the one on the screen now. So I'm going to select File New, and perhaps 500 by 500 pixels is a good size. And what I'll do is place on all the extra images that I need. I've got a fireball in the background of my badge. I'll click Enter, click File, Place. This is the background for my badge. Press Enter again to confirm. File, Place, and a wood file, which is the background of my text. I don't need to see any of these at the moment. So I'll select a new layer. And what I'll do is select here the elliptical marquee tool. This will be the circle for my badge. And what I'll do is I'll select the foreground colour here and just select a red type colour, which then I'll use the paint bucket tool. So then I can see where the circle is, but it won't be this colour on the finished badge. Control D then deselects the selection and go to new layer. I'm going to create a reflection. So that's where my reflections go go at the top of the badge and my foreground color is going to be white click ok and we're going to have a gradient i need to very carefully make sure i have from white to clear selected and a circle i just want it to be more white on the outside here and what happens is when i draw a line so it goes from the center of the circle outwards so i want the center of the circle to be just outside my selection and we draw. That doesn't look too bad to me. I'll press Ctrl D and it deselects. This is going to be the top reflection. And I'm going to want one of those at the bottom. So what I can do is right click duplicate layer, be my bottom reflection. Now there's two at the same place. So what I can do is click on the transform tools and around the outside it's got this kind of circular arrow that one and i can rotate and if i press shift it clips around and so i can definitely get it so it's horizontal and then just move it down now to make the first reflection a bit brighter than the bottom one we can do as i just did duplicate layer top reflection bold and so now this one looks a bit brighter than the bottom one now what I'm going to do is create a clipping mask so the fire goes onto the circle. So this is the one that I want to be the clipping mask. I'm just moving the order of the layers so it's in front of the circle. If I make it appear, see it covers the whole badge, that's what I want. Now I want to make this into a clipping mask. So I right click, create clipping mask, and it's clipped around the edge there. So this is the start of my badge. But the edge of this badge could do with some work. So on the circle layer, I'll double click, and I think I'd like a inner shadow and a drop shadow. And you can see what these do. So that looks like a badge with the outer glow and a drop shadow. Inner shadow, I'm not too keen on, but if I could adjust these settings, I'm sure I'd find one which I'd find would be suitable. Click OK, and this is taking shape. My reflection, it's a bit precisely um, at the top and bottom. So what I'll do is I'll rotate them. I can select both at once by pressing Shift. And as long as the Transform and Transform tools are selected, then I can get the arrow and I can rotate. Oh, I've missed one of my reflections. So I press Escape, and now make sure I have all three layers selected. And I can rotate. If I press Shift, can make it go to a 45 degree angle. Press enter. That looks not too bad. So what I'm going to do is just add in the fireball too. Now it's got a black background. So here I can enter in screen mode, which makes it disappear. And this gives it a kind of attractive look. Now I want to put my text on this dog, on this badge. I'll create a new layer. Go choose some black text. Burn IT films. Okay, that fits on the badge. Okay for me. 
And what I'd like to do is create a stroke around here so I'll be able to see it once I clip on some fire. So I double click onto it and at the bottom here there's stroke. Now I'm going to make the stroke a white colour. And for me, stroke's a little bit small so I'll choose 5 pixels. It's OK. What I'd like is that wood fire to be the clipping mask. So I'll move that to the top above the text and I'm going to right click and create clipping mask. And as long as I make it visible, then you can see it's got the fire inside. Now, unfortunately, it's over this reflection. That's not what I want. So I'll move the reflection in front of the wood fire. And that's just about the effect that I'd like. I can move this down. Shift to select more than one layer at once. Keys for small adjustments. And I could make that look pretty good, I think.